Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. John Belkowitz here from Intelligent Concrete. Um, busy day today. I wanted to get a coffee talk out. I actually stopped drinking coffee about two months ago, so and I left my water downstairs. So anyway, uh, coffee talk this morning is going to be on defining the granular skeleton for concrete. And we had done this whole shtick on um, uh, segregation of concrete, SCCs, and uh, DCY13. Ask the question, you know, what is the granular skeleton? The granular skeleton refers to the coarse and fine aggregate that's used as the total or as part of the concrete composite. Now, when I talk about granular skeleton, I normally mean or I'm referring to the balance of coarse and fine aggregate to reduce the porosity index so that we have a aggregate to paste ratio that is a little bit more conducive to the flow that we need. So I, I mean a, a, a very deep thing when I say granular skeleton. But that being said, I mean a granular skeleton is just that. It's just the rock and the sand that's put together to form the portion of the composite of our concrete composite. Now it could be good, it could be bad. And good and bad really is based on the type of concrete that you're using. So when we're trying to create a more uh, optimized concrete or grout or whatever it's going to be, we want to try and reduce the porosity index or the void structure that is created when the rock and sand kind of meet each other in a, in a known volume. So we want to reduce that as much as possible so we don't need, excuse me, so we don't need as much paste to create that flowability because the more pores we need, the more paste we need, and that paste that goes over the uh, amount of pores that's needed um, creates that flowability too. And it also makes a mix, the more pores we have, the more paste we have, it also makes our mix a little bit more um, sensitive instead of making it more robust. So including different sized aggregates in our granular skeleton gives us a lower porosity index, or normally, once you balance it, gives you a lower porosity index, so you don't need as much paste to get to that workability or flowability that you need. So. There is a great uh, software package offered at Oklahoma State University by Tyler Lay. I believe it's called the Tarantula Curve. Yeah, and that's a free software package out there. And I believe there's a few others. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you uh, learned something today. Let us know if you have any other concrete questions, concrete concerns. Have a great day. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!